hey guys so welcome back to the channel it's the oracle fairy here to give you guys another reading um we got strength card here leo energy and out um crazy because what i was feeling is someone has been holding back from you or they're trying to hold back from you but it's they're holding back from you empress because you are their match or you make it's like you both have a very powerful energy you and your person I mean, this deck is upside down, but I cut the deck at Olive Branch. Someone want to, may want to reach out to you, extend an Olive Branch. I'm also just getting, again, you and someone is giving High Priestess and Hierophant energy. Here we are, high, Olive Branch. So someone definitely is wanting to speak to you or reach in, They want to reach out and like make amends maybe. Or It says winding down, but I literally saw bow down. And I don't know. It's giving me like somebody feels like your energy is like royalty too. And... Because you have a very powerful energy to you, divine feminine or masculine. But I feel like, especially if you are the divine feminine, I'm here at bow down, just bow, bow down, bitches. My Beyonce, um, bow down. She said, I'm a little bitsy girl. You were dreamt of being in my world. Don't forget it, don't forget it. Respect that bow down and just, like yeah you carry a very like, it's like your energy is very my way or the highway like, this is how someone's viewing you like they it's almost too you make people just want to give you what you want not make them but it's just they want to give you whatever or this person especially you you have someone or people wanting to like reach out to you and make amends make things right or just if it's not like make amends it's just they want to these are people who wouldn't have any problem that was way too many cards these are people who wouldn't have any problem um well, I'm not going to say they wouldn't have no problem because obviously I feel like they were holding themselves back. But it's like almost like I, I would not like have to like humble myself. But it's kind of like I, if I have to like not even I don't know how to explain it, y'all. It's just like people I'm here and I'm at your mercy because I'm seeing that scene from their eyes are watching God when TK tell, <laughs> told Janie. He was like, well, look, I'm at your mercy, Janie. Like, I don't know what you want from me, but you got me where you want me. I'll just cut the deck at White Rabbit. Y'all see who I am for Halloween, the Queen of Hearts. I had to keep it PG thirteen and throw a little, yeah, because like yeah, the whole uh yeah. Mm -hmm. So follow the right rabbit. Um, I feel like Queen of Hearts. So I'm just getting like a Queen of Cups energy too, or just a sweetheart, or you're just very loving, nurturing. Um, you're sparking a lot of people's curiosity. You have someone wanting to come towards you. It says awakening. It's time with the right rabbit. You know that's been a theme on my channel. Um, Halloween is tomorrow. <laughs> So it's definitely give all this card came out with summer. So something that could have happened in the summer. Maybe you met someone in the summertime or something I heard between the next three to six months. We got the flag here. Um, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Aries, energy, double Aries. So we do have the shield and the flag. You may have someone that's very protective of you coming in or they're already in your life. I do feel like this is someone, again, who they feel like you're their equal. Um, and again, this kind of scares this person because I feel like this is someone who... I, mm, it's like a, a submission. Like, they're used to people maybe submitting to them, but not saying that they have to, like, submit. It's like an equal submission. Maybe both of y'all are going to have to look the sword and scales, like a balance. Both of y'all may have to find a balance in this connection, but you see how one is slightly, like, someone feels like you would slightly hold more, like, power than them. It's given, um, it's a song called Power by Isaac Dan Danielson. It's something that with Crystal Ball, like, you have a very powerful intuition or, like, sense of, uh, like, your gifts or abilities, your sights, your foresight. Um, this worries someone. Look, worry. The worry bees and the intuition. Because your intuition or maybe their intuition is telling them that, like, you're just going to have them, like, their whole heart is what I'm hearing. Like, somebody intuitively knows this. Someone is very possessive, too. Someone could want freedom or it's something about, again, someone may fear that maybe you would dominate their entire, like, being if they gave into this. But this is a new beginning that's bound to happen with the baby card here. So maybe you and someone are going to have a child together. We got the ring as well. Um, we have Gemini, Pisces, Aries, heavy Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. Um, so someone may be having a, a child that is a Capricorn, a Libra, a Cancer, or an Aries, a cardinal sign. And I'm definitely seeing like a commitment or something coming in. We have the winter card out here. So between like summer, winter, you could have met this person or this is happening. Um, I'm definitely seeing a new love blooming or blossoming in your life. This is someone who's going to appreciate you. And I'm also just feeling like, again, there was like a power struggle is giving, like, because someone was almost like, this card keeps showing his face. Uh, Taurus energy is something about someone that's like, someone just is used to either like getting their way. This is a very dominant person. And maybe you have a very dominant energy to you as well. But it's like, you have someone wanted to like, almost like... <laughs> I don't know. I just heard that. Like they give you what you want, or just 
Stop, Alex. Stop. Because we have here too. Maybe somebody, I feel like somebody really just wants to like, you see, it's like a necklace on this card. Somebody might want to get you one of those necklaces where you put like a picture inside. It's just giving really cute energy. Like you really got someone wanting to just do shit that maybe they don't normally do. I heard, I heard like they want to gift you things because it says gifts on here. Devotion. Like it's giving, mm, someone wants to pour into you. Fidelity. Yearning. Like they yearn for this. Like this is someone who yearns to like be in a relationship or loyal to you. But I feel like they not... They're not usually the type to possibly yearn for that type of thing. Um, or maybe they just weren't focused on that before. This could be somebody that you're already dealing with, um, that you're already with, with the ring card here. Or just, um, they're already thinking of, like, commitment. Like I said, proposals, uh, long-term commitment. They find this to be a spiritual union. So I see this is going to be some form of like an achievement with the flag card here and shield. So I do see this being a protector, success, victory, um, protection, support, guardian. Like, I'm not going to lie. This person, they don't want to see y'all <laughs> pretty as flirting with other people, mingling with other people as in like you are, oh, I'm keeping my options open. And like, it's just this person, I do get a very defensive energy towards like other people that want to come towards you, but they may not show this. And baby, yeah, they... Something about, um, this shows this face, like, the other day in my reading, it's something about either, like, a decision that's being made, an offer being accepted, like, somebody may want to bring an offer your way, or, like, a court case that's significant, legalities, or spiritual, like, something, I saw that sword and scales, so it's something about, like, justice, a lot of justice is surrounding the situation, where I feel like something is being made right, is what I'm hearing, somebody may be coming towards you, you know, on a train, <laughs> plane, shit, they just want to come towards you, in a car, in the rain, like, yeah. With the fairy tale energy here just given like this person or this is going to feel like a dream come true it says romantic ending unicorns and rainbows happily ever after i do get again it was almost someone was resistant to it because what happens when we feel like something is too good to be true we kind of like are hesitant we're like uh i don't want to put my all into it or like mm, this is what's scaring someone too someone may go to the gym a lot or be like a bodybuilder we got capricorn sagittarius energy with both of these cards and gemini i feel like you're moving on or someone's moving on from a past situation or a past dynamic in their life again this could be you it's almost like a, a forceful energy behind this like more so like the energy like the divine is forcing a lot of shit out so that this could come in with happening now something about a train y'all a train someone may have to take a train or like a train is significant train train <laughs> i don't know <laughs> But we got the pearl here. Somebody's birthstone maybe pearl. Somebody could be on. Um, what is that, Gemini? Um, we got cancer on this card as well. I see someone wanted to open it. It says opening up emotionally, honesty, intuition, perception, loyalty. Again, someone may just want to be honest with you that they want to be loyal to you. Happening soon. Like, you may just be hearing from someone. And I do feel like this is someone who, yes, they tried to hold themselves back from you, baby. But can they? I don't really think so. We got the hot air balloon. Peep the clock, y'all. Peep the clock. It's something about the timing. Okay, this comes with... <laughs> it's something about the timing. Because where did that card go? This is so perfect, y'all. Like, look how source works. Look how... Look how... Yeah, like... Something is like, I'm hearing this time. Like, with that tea party energy. Don't want to be... Like, when that rabbit was on that in a movie, like... Baby, I got somewhere to go. I got somewhere to be. I can't be sitting here fooling around with you. We got to go. Come on, let's go. You're going to with me? You're going to stay? Like, that's the energy I'm getting. Are you going to stay? You're going to go? Let's go. Let's go. Like, you are being, like, pushed into, like, a new timeline. It's something about, I'm hearing tomorrow, tomorrow. Uh, bet your bottom dollar that Annie. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow. I love you tomorrow. Something about tomorrow. Maybe from when you're watching this video. Where did that car go? Is it, like... I'm so confused. What? Okay, so what's the train on this? What other card was I looking at? Because now it's a train on this card. And I'm just trying to say, like, it's something about a train. <laughs> something about a train. Oh, here it is. I'm going to say, am I... It's something about a train. This is the Eight of Wands. So something about a train. Something about communication that's coming in. 
this is happening now. I don't know why I keep just getting like, I just keep thinking of the wrong type of train. I hope that ain't what nobody think about. <laughs> we have the Eight of Wands, meaning someone has definitely wanted to communicate with you. This card says the Looking Glass Railway. Something about a railway. Somebody may work at the railroad, a railway, construction worker I'm hearing. Okay, we did have this hot air balloon card. It's Leo energy, going with the flow, balance, freedom, rising above, defying gravity. So somebody's rising, maybe doing something different than what was expected in the situation. Let's see. So I do feel like somebody may be disinterested and something else prior that they were holding on to this could be y'all yeah metamorphosis because someone has now went through a transformation so someone is now no longer interested in maybe the same type of i heard of things people energies opinions something about opinions mm, i just feel like you really are like you have someone's like full attention or something like that this is the energy that i'm getting with this metamorphosis card with the magician so someone's going through like a process of alchemy your person or you i do feel like someone could have watched you go through some form of a transformation but this is someone who's transforming inside and out because they're now watch they're now hurt they're willing to transform and that that um hard exterior is breaking because this is something that was always meant to come around for like you and your person with the knight of cups look who it is when look who it is someone may want to invite you like on a date Something about being late for a date or someone is like going to be punctual. The witch. Mm -hmm. With the chariots. I see something moving fast really quickly. The lovers. And this is definitely like a love situation. Heavy Gemini energy. Yeah, with the world card. So I see a shift coming in. Someone may even just feel totally different. Like when they go, when this portal energy happens. Ten of pentacles. I feel like you were meant to go through this. It's something about the, like, it's something about transparency between you and this person. And I feel like too, um... Again, like someone is going to want to tell you, like, ooh, look who it is. <laughs> so, um, the Red Queen, but I believe that's the Queen of Hearts. Ace of Swords, it is. So, yeah, I feel like someone wants to speak to you. This person could see you in a very powerful Queen of Swords energy. The King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So, this could be the same person or two different people that are on your heels. But I feel like you honestly, honestly feel like intuitively this is like the same person. Um, you have them feeling so many emotions. This is someone who's usually grounded in their emotions or like just themselves, period. You got them in this energy of like they feel so much passion for you. But also it's like they're engulfed in their emotions and it's breaking through this energy of maybe had it not been for so much emotions it would have just been like maybe lust at one point. But I feel like it's so much more than that. And they're trying to keep themselves grounded in like their own sense of control you could be dealing with a fire sign or an uh earth sign you could be an air sign you don't have to be but this queen of swords energy is just the energy that i feel like you're in very clear very concise very clear on your boundaries very strong energy um something about the color red is significant she's pretty the ace of cups somebody looks at you like you're very beautiful or like you're very pretty yeah, this is why somebody's trying to keep themselves grounded. Someone may feel like you and some like you have someone else that also like feels the same about you because you know, yeah, with the star card here. And you're helping someone to heal or you help others to like heal. Oh shoot. What's up with that? Way too many cards. Well, the Empress, the Two of Cups, the Hierophant. This is a relationship. The sun came out. Yeah, this is it's a lot going on. So I'm not gonna take all of them, but I will take those three. The Hierophant, the Two of Cups, and the uh, Empress. This is a relationship. Someone wants to talk to you about a relationship or like they know they're going to have to like be honest or clear. Something about the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Wands came out. Communication. Someone may have to strengthen their communication skills or uh, the way that they communicate. I heard something about clockwork, like clockwork or something about some timing. The Five of Cups, the King of Cups. Someone could be dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer. Pisces or a Cancer, a Cancer or a Pisces. This is someone who has like emotions that are like overflowing. Again, the King of Cups sits on his emotions. Someone may regret sitting on their emotions towards you. Heavy on someone may like the color purple. Clarify this Empress for me. Okay. 
try this empress for me. Who is this empress for us? I don't know what this empress with the star. You're this healer. You are this empress. Taurus, Libra, Aquarius energy. Someone wants to make like a promise to you. I feel like this is going to be somebody who's highly devoted to you with the star card. They want to help you to heal as well because something about them unpacking past, I don't know if it's like childhood trauma or something pertaining to the past that they're now able to let go. It says TikTok, literally. I saw, I'm, I'm hearing TikTok, TikTok from, uh, what is that called? Mm, the Hunger Games. When the lady was on there, uh, I forgot which one that was. It was like, it wasn't the first one. It was like the second one, I think, or the third. Um, Maybe the third <laughs> or the second. But she was like, TikTok, TikTok. And she was like, she learned that like the everything in the arena had like a timing. So something about that could be significant to what's going on in like the world or like these natural disasters, or, like shit that's happening. I don't know where that's coming from. But it's given like, yeah, TikTok, TikTok. And it, or someone could be on TikTok. Something about TikTok could be significant or the timing of something. Something that someone is very like smart. Someone could be like autistic or like on the spectrum. I feel like something that pertained to the past being done. Look. The, uh, I was going to say the tornado as I was talking about the energy of like natural disaster. So we got um, the tower and the seven of wands. I feel like the past is over with, with the death card, the six of cups. Like someone's no longer looking back to the past because they're looking towards their future. I'm hearing like they're forever. I heard someone say like, you may not know this, but this is how someone's looking. Mm -hmm. Sugar Land. I'm hearing that. I don't know if that's what it's called. That song Sugar Land. Okay, or, I don't know. Is that what it's called? I think so. The messenger might feel like y'all stuck like glue ace of wands someone's definitely feeling passionate about you ace of wands messenger this could be a lot of like sex thing going on or someone's going to be like it's going to be a lot of passion shared between the two of y'all remember i said like this is like the high priestess to the higher friend you are sitting here you could just know you know that this is your person or maybe you just know that like how someone feels about you but they're not telling you this person is actually trying to be like strategic with how they move with you but you already know they know that you know I'm here and that they want to be loyal to you. But maybe they're trying to hold back on this from this Queen of Cups. Uh-oh, uh-oh, stuck like glue. You know what I mean, baby? Mm. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You're helping someone to heal from, like, a heartbreak or this person is actively, like, healing you or them. It was something about, like, a, a heartbreak, but it's the three of swords to the four of swords, meaning someone is healing from this. Could even have to do with like a third party or outside influences someone like having like insecurities or something could have really made someone like off balance at one point temperance and i feel like now there's like looking like good news you are like a sign of hope like you are actually i'm i'm seeing what i'm seeing is you are you're like the after the flood you are like that sign of hope so something about floods, natural disasters is really significant. You were like that olive branch. You were like that sign of hope that the divine sent after like a very tough time in someone's life or like you're just this energy in other people's lives. Like after they go through something, they may meet you like friends, lovers, or people may come across you again. Like after they just went through like a very tough time, it's like you're that sign of like life or hope is what I'm hearing. Thank you, divine. Sagittarius energy with temperance here. Look, as you're being guided into calmer waters with the Six of Swords, away from whatever this betrayal, deception, or this person I actually feel like is who was going through this, or the both of y'all. Y'all could be mirroring in that aspect. And I feel like this has someone in their head with the Eight of Swords, almost like they're still in this energy of like victim mentality in a way, because it's like, don't let your past influence where you're going or hold you back from like beautiful, because you're actually being pushed away from all of that. The Six of Swords, this is the divine taking, you know, the divine is um, the shepherd and takes care of the sheep. So something about you needed to have courage or your masculine or feminine having courage to move forward within this connection. That's what was slowing something down. With the chariot is here, so it's letting me know that something is about to speed up. Chariot is a travel card. I see this coming in the future. This is someone who's actually going to be taking action on you because they've held back. They've been holding back or like, that's not really what they want to do. That's them trying to keep a sense of power or control that they just feel like they're with judgment. They're, yeah. It's like this Jabberwocky energy. They, they know they have to face their fears, which is to fully like maybe give themselves to you. I just keep hearing like a submission energy, but that's going to literally put them in the six of wands. It's this it's they're afraid of that because maybe they feel like the masculine is supposed to have all the energy, the power and you're supposed to submit to me. But someone's learning like this is what it's like to this is what it feels like. I'm hearing goddess uh, by Banks or yeah, that's her name, I think. 
So it's something about you being you having goddess like energy justice, four of wands, six of wands. Someone is someone can have this union, it will happen, is what I'm hearing. You're each other's justice. Um, Libra, Capricorn energy out here, Pisces. But this will slow down because of someone on their own toxic ways or ways of thinking, past ways of being. They know that they have to get out of that. Heavy Capricorn energy, heavy. Um, but someone's realizing that you know this is the the devil card fell out. So yeah, heavy Capricorn. We got the Emperor at the bottom, Aries energy, Three of Cups. Someone may want to invite your ass out for a date. Very important date that they can't be late to. <laughs> or something about a, a friendship, a tea party even. I'm asking about this Emperor and we have the full card. So this is going to be taking a leap of faith towards their Empress. This is th that Wizard of Oz energy. Like he's the whiz. So like I said, you are this Ozma of Oz. Like you are like a very Empress-like energy um, and this is someone who is like a creator in their own right as well. Like a very powerful God to your goddess energy or vice versa. The white knight is out here. So yeah, they're definitely wanting to be your knight in shining armor and strength fell right off on top of this, um, emperor. So this is someone that we know the emperor is someone who values control, self-control, having power, holding back. I don't know <laughs> what the strength card is letting me know that this is someone who was actively like holding and it may have been even pride. I don't even you know how they say they are like the king of the jungle or whatever, but it's a the, the pride is what I'm getting. Like pride, you know, lions, pride, yeah. But you know how even like the lions be like kind of submitting to their woman, like um the lioness, like she she holds power too. So it's something about like it has to be like a someone's realizing this with the nine of cups and the queen of pentacles. You may be an earth sign. But uh we had that king of pentacles come out, so I'm definitely seeing that happen here. King Ten of Pentacles. And this is when this happens. This is when this abundance it will finally start to like just flow equally. I'm hearing like freely. That's how it's supposed to be. But someone was almost, if it was seeming like it was stopping and starting or it was like stagnant or um, someone was just holding back from you. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this is going to start flowing once someone realizes that. Look, it's like, and it could have been someone else that was inside of, I don't know, if hanging on to them or they, they were hanging on to, but any confusion. There could have been, I don't know, somebody was still kind of like mingling outside because they weren't like ready to accept this connection. Definitely could have been something that was going on. But I see with the Ace of Pentacles with this Sun card here, I do see someone coming forward with an offer that's going to make you really happy. And also them. Ten of Pentacles is already here too. And now we have what? Follow the yellow brick road. You and this person are being like guided towards each other or you will be with the Ten of Cups. It's definitely letting me know that, yeah, you're being guided towards this happy legacy ending, fairy tale ending or whatever the case may be that you both dream of with each other. Could be two earth signs, could be Taurus, Libra, um, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Pisces even. And I feel like, yeah, someone's viewing you as like a very gifted empath. With the empath here, the high priestess and the page of cups, they want to apologize to you. They could feel like you see through their bullshit no matter what they do that you see. So it's just like, what's the point of even playing games or or trying to hold back from this person? Because I know that you know that I'm in love with your ass. You over there dreaming about everything this person thinking of and wanting to do with you. And you're just like, so I wonder why they're not making that move. This person just feels like now at this point, it's just, it's just foolish not to come in. Like they're just holding themselves back. And even if you guys are still in communication, they just feel like they want to fully give themselves to you because they don't want it to be no like... You are going to see how someone really is. I'm just feeling like right now they're trying to be mellow with it or like just cool. But there's nothing. I heard it's nothing surface level about it. And this person really wants to invest in you um, with the hermit here. Something about shrooms could be significant. Someone is very wise as well. This person could be in hermit mode right now. Just um, contemplating. Someone's nickname could be like Mouse, Mousy. Someone uses Moose or something. This is what it feels like. We got the trail, the Griffin and Mox Turtles trial. So that came out too with the Mox. That was like somebody, that was like the Five of Cups though with the Mox trial. I mean the Mock Turtle. 
reminds you to stand up for justice and for what's right. Somebody may feel like they're having to like, they want to give you what you deserve. Remember I said something about justice surrounding this reading? Didn't I say that? And with the rabbit hole. And this entire reading is giving me like, yeah, someone is falling down the rabbit hole, which is giving me that they fell in love with you. The falling off stars. It happened like, what did he say? Like going to sleep um, slowly than all at once or something like that. Like someone was trying not to fall for you or but they, I, I don't know. Like this person is really, is talking about on this car, spark of curiosity. It's time going down a rabbit hole, waking from the dream. Somebody may have had a dream that they were supposed to be with you, in love with you or marry you, something. It says inner knowing. This person has an inner knowing that they're supposed to be with you. <laughs> this person could be having a spiritual awakening with the rabbit hole. It says, just as Alice ventured through the rabbit hole, you two are on a path of exploration, encountering a myriad of characters and situations that reflect aspects of your own inner world. So you are reflecting someone's inner world back to them. And then I, I just feel like you guys are like a mirror. Like you are this person's like equal. But also you could be showing this person where they still need to have like improvement and also vice versa because you are not perfect either is what I'm hearing. We got the Red Queen. So the Red Queen came out in bro both decks. It says the Red Queen reminds you that you have the power to make things happen. So someone really may like the color red. Someone's hair may be red. Someone may really like you just with red hair or something like that. Or like maybe you've been thinking about like a new color. Maybe red. Be cute. Let me see what she can. I love. I was watching this other reader. Oh my gosh. She reminded me of myself. I was like, oh my God. I love it. Because it's just like... I understand, like, when I do certain things and read it, it's like, okay, that's not so, like, weird or different. Like, I don't know. Let's make you feel kind of understood. Where did she go? Hello. Where are you? Let me read her. So, we got the Ace of Cups here, but we got the Red Queen. Something about the color red. Um, It's, giving me, it's just giving me Queen of Hearts energy. And the other card was a Queen of Hearts. I just turned it over because it fell out with it. So I didn't see that. But this is, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. It says the Queen of Hearts reminds you that you are the only one who knows what's truly best for you. Some of y'all are like being guided to like you have to choose what's best for you. Only you will know. I heard you know exactly who or what you want. Someone knows exactly who and what they want. And you need not to settle. That's all I'm going to say. Whoever you. Queen of Swords. She's. Do she look like she from the fuck around? She like she got it too. Like well, she like she don't fuck around. Like she know how to get down. She ain't afraid to kind of like somebody may have a birthmark on their face or like by their eye is what I'm getting, or like a scratch or something or like a mold on their forehead or like by your eye. Um, I'm definitely seeing here, baby. You know exactly who and what you want. Nobody can tell you what the fuck is the best decision or path for you, but you follow your motherfucking heart. Um, t this is crazy. Yeah, I'm seeing something about red, red, the Queen of Cups. <laughs> That's literally my fucking um, costume this year. So this is, uh, I don't know, whatever's coming in for me. I feel like God's about to bless you. A message just came up on my phone that God's about to bless your beautiful soul. We got the unicorn out here. Someone views you as a unicorn. You're very rare. You stand out. Tweedle D and Tweedle Dumb. That's also the two of cups in my Alice deck. Not Alice and Wizard of Oz deck. So I feel like someone views you as being very rare. And you are very rare just like this person is very rare. I heard just like you are of the divine or like you have a certain clearance. This person may have a certain clearance spiritually as well. So handle each other with care. And get to know each other. And learn each other. Love each other. Respect each other. Nurture each other as you would. Like, I don't know. I'm just getting like a, a child as well. Like, protect this connection. Because it's very, something about this is very like, um, what is it called? Like, uh, sacred, but also like a vulnerability to it. Like, you have to protect it like you would a young child, a baby. You hold the crown in this person's eyes. You wear the crown is what I'm hearing. Again, you are like spiritual royalty. Um, this is the white queen's crown reminds you to trust in your own power and authority. Literally with the white knight. So something about, you guys are mirroring this person so well. You are coming out as the white queen with the crown and they're coming out as the white knight. So as you are this queen of cups, you're also like this white queen full of purity, full of lights. And it says the white knight's presence, presence encourages you to embrace your own bravery and step into the realm of action. And it's a whole masculine on this card. And not, I feel like a masculine is supposed to be taking action rather than holding back, man. But hey, 
It says it is not enough to dream in a vision. You must take tangible steps towards your aspirations. Trust in your abilities and allow your passions to guide you forward on your journey. So, yeah, someone's very passionate about you, baby. This person, I, if, especially if there's like silence or some form of tricky energy right now. I'm not seeing like, look, tea party. I do feel like this person has been thinking about inviting you out or like coming towards you or something where they can like be in your energy is what I'm getting. And I'm seeing with this Alicia energy, it says you are destined for greatness. And that's like Alice, Alicia, <laughs> modern. <laughs> Embrace your journey with a curious spirit. For it is in the exploration of the extraordinary that you will find your true purpose and make a lasting impact on the world around you. So, yeah, someone may want to invite you to like a tea party or it says the tea party is a reminder to surround yourself with like-minded individuals who appreciate and celebrate your uniqueness. Seek out communities and connections that nourish your soul. And I feel like this is the union between you and this person that is going to be very sacred because you understand each other like no other. Because you are damn near like one. You are, you, you're each other in like different bodies. Like it's like you mirror each other a lot or you I'm telling you, you're going to see. It's sick how like much you and someone else are going to like mirror each other or something like that. Even if it's like this person had like a different type of energy before, like, but they've always been like spiritual or like they've had a certain type of maybe they don't show this or I feel like too, again, um, you are very unique. This person is very unique and you will be able to honor this uniqueness within each other. Um, it says with the presence of the unicorn, you are reminded the power of belief and manifestations of dreams. So again, maybe the both of you dreamt of each other or dreamt of, you know, having a divine loyal lover in your life. Trust in the magic that resides within you and the universe. Believe in the impossible and let your dreams take flight. Whatever it is that you're dreaming for or of at this time, I feel like this is going to be coming towards you. Or it's very possible. You need to open yourself up to new possibilities. Make sure that, like, with this rabbit hole energy, do not be afraid to go, go towards, like, new. If you're curious about something or someone, why not? I'm feeling like something is really, 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 really. Uh, it's, it's something could be pulling on you and someone else's heartstrings. Like, you're needing to follow, like, this spark of curiosity, which I feel like is this masculine. Or it's both of y'all, maybe. With the Jabberwocky, it says it's time to face your fears head on. Don't sit and let it control you. Don't sit and let your fears control you. This 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 big monster, this demon, I'm hearing it's only an illusion through the door. Someone may be afraid to come towards you or speak to you or approach you, even if this person is fine as hell. Because I feel like this person is not no busted person. Tweet them, tweet them. If you find, they find. Have you seen them? They see you or vice versa. I'm ready for like it's not even about the looks and superficial shit, if I'm being honest, but maybe that's what someone has to get over. It's something about this walking through this door. The door of opportunity is open for these lovers or this union or something to come together here. Something is very protected too. It says it's okay to protect yourself and set healthy boundaries. Okay, so something about protection, the energy of the griffin signifies protection and guardianship. I feel like y'all person is very protective over y'all. Even over their own energy. This could be why they've been kind of hesitant. They're very protected. They don't usually, but you got them wanting to open up and I'm like, I'm here. I don't usually do this. They could be telling you shit. They don't usually tell people or they're going to be like, I'm telling you, like, is this going to be so fluid between the two of you? And I do feel like at first someone was trying to have this hard exterior or shell, but you were like, yeah. <laughs> what is that? What movie is that? <laughs> I don't even know what movie that might <laughs> But yes, yeah, someone is very protective of you. It says, just as the griffin watches over and safeguards its realm, it reminds you you are supported and guided by benevolent forces. And I also feel like that's your person's energy. Like, they are so protective over you. You may not know this, but they, the messenger here. So someone's going to be messaging you. Like, we got uh, Thackeray, the messenger. So some of y'all can even have a like, creative spirit to you or an endeavor that you need to get on or express yourself. I'm here and express yourself. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. what movie is that cheaper by the dozen oh my god you and someone else can have like a lot of kids like y'all are gonna have like a big ass family or like <laughs> it's gonna be fun though i love those movies i'm sorry i don't know if anybody else used to watch that because i just literally got like a whole ass someone is so protective of you somebody may have been watching you drink like somebody felt like they didn't drink your love whatever you, you you got them where they you where you want them or something but i don't feel like you're on some trying to take advantage of them look because this person ace cups <laughs> But it's not a cup. Like, yeah, someone wants to take action towards you. Like, you got this person. But they may be trying to play it cool. Keep it like. Oh, my God. Uh, cheaper by the dozen. Like, I cannot. I love that. I've What? Oh, and it makes me miss my grandma. I used to watch it all at her house all the time. That is my movie. Cheaper by the dozen. It was like a very hectic family life that they had, but they was making that shit work because it was like they loved it. Like, I just, I don't know. With the caterpillar here, symbolizes the awakening of inner wisdom and spiritual insights. Through stillness and introspection, you can access profound knowledge and gain a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. Listen to the whispers of your intuition. Trust the guidance that it provides. 
Someone's intuition is telling their ass to get the fuck on it. Get on it. So, yeah. Where's that? Someone's I'm hearing. Oh, and I, I can help falling in love with you. So somebody really can't help that they fell in love with you. Mm -hmm. Ain't that like a commercial, like with chocolate and shit too? Like, um, I don't know. Somebody may want to get you chocolates. So yeah, with the right rabbit coming out, it's very much so on theme. Rabbit. Someone may own a rabbit, or they always wanted to. Rabbits are also representative of like fertility, I believe too. Speed. In the presence of the right rabbit, you are encouraged to overcome procrastination and take decisive action. Who might this be that needs to take action? The masculine. Or the feminine, but usually it's like the masculine that's kind of like needing to like take action, emperor energy. Just as the white rabbit rushes from one place to another, you are too urged to follow your dreams and passions with a sense of urgency. So for some of you, just even have to do it again. Like maybe something you've been dreaming of that you've been sitting on that you could actually be in the spark of creation or something that's supposed to be starting for you. Get on it. And this could be for some of y'all, your masculine just sitting here like, you know, he's being told like take action because it's the only thing holding you back from this, this, this union, this, this. I just heard like this, um, this alignment of like hearts. It says in the presence of a white queen, you are reminded of your own inner sovereignty and the power to re the power. I almost say recreate the power to create your reality. Maybe you're reshifting or recreating your reality as well. Embrace your divine feminine essence and the strength it brings. Baby, you hold the power is what I'm hearing. Divine feminine. That's all you need to know. You hold the motherfucking power, whatever you want at this point, the ball is in your court. And honestly, that is kind of what if someone else was afraid of. But we have to be real. Divine feminine, you are divine, divine feminine. You're not just a feminine energy. You're divine. So it's like you hold yourself to a different standard. You wouldn't take advantage of someone's energy because you wouldn't want them to do that to you is what I'm getting. Someone has like a lot of perfumes or like, uh, yeah, something about perfume is what I'm getting. Oh, my God. I love this for y'all. Heavy Pisces. If something was on hold, I feel like it's being, uh, yeah, it's being made clear with the sun card and the empath. Someone sees that, again, they don't have to hold themselves back from you. They don't have to be strategic with you. I really don't have to move like this with this person. Maybe in other ways that I had to do with other people to keep them interested because this is my person. For a wands, this is a, I heard, uh, I never knew there was a love like this before. Yeah. This is what someone is feeling like. They... They don't have to trick themselves or sabotage a connection to keep. I don't know. It's just like someone is wanting to, to see it. the king of pentacles could be an earth sign, ten of cups. So this is someone who is definitely follow the yellow brick road. And I'm here. If they follow their guidance the right way, then they will honestly be led to like this rainbow. They're being someone's getting signs like <laughs> there. This is someone who is guided as well. Like you're guided. This person is guided. Ten of pentacles, ten of cups and the ten of pentacles. I feel like you and this person are about to have like. Just an extraordinary love story. I heard it's carrying on from a past life with the witch here. Like, yeah, with the moon card and the king of cups. Heavy Pisces cancer energy here, too. Again, this is someone who has a lot of emotions for you that they keep hidden. I never knew the world. This is what they're afraid of to give you. Because I'm hearing like, yeah, your shoes, something about like, Cinderella at that ball, baby. You only your foot can fit up in his shoe. No matter how many people try to stick their big ass feet up in his shoe or their little ass feet, whatever. Is your I'm hearing only your your size is everything that this person wants. Even if they had like a, like a different type in the past or different sizes that they had, it, your size is exactly. I'm not even getting like a body size, but it's just giving everything about you your 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 aura, your energy, your this style, your 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 who does it for this person? Leo, Aries energy with the Emperor. Do they they're gonna have to make a heart. I'm hearing decision, like a heart overhead decision because they've been in their head all along, but they have to make a heart overhead decision. Like, listen to your heart. Uh, <laughs> with the cowardly lion here with the Wizard of Oz. This is someone who's in control of their own reality too. It's a lot going up there in that crown chakra. But right now, I feel like, again, they have to not really too much listen to what their head was telling them. Maybe that like, oh, this is too good to be true or to hold back and be strategic because that's only going to prolong things, which I feel like they don't really want that. Or if they did do that now, they're like, that wasn't really a good idea. So, yeah, with the Page of Cups, I see this person. You're going to hear from this person. Too. That's that olive branch energy. 
like trying to like make amends. This is the magician. This is what they're manifesting, the world card. You're going to step through a portal with this person is what I'm hearing. And here's Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <laughs> literally, it says that on this card. So nobody be like, why did you say Tweedledee and Tweedledum? That's literally the characters in the movie too. And in the book. So yeah, the Hierophant and uh, Two of Cups. This is literally like a high level commitment, a soul union. This is very spiritual. Hierophant, the High Priestess came. This is very spiritual between the two of y'all. I heard that this person will be able to show you like this side of them, their spiritual side, their intelligent side, their sides that like maybe other people never even got to see. This person is going to maybe take some time to kind of like open up. What is this card going up in here? But they're going to do that with the train here again. So something about someone having to leave something behind. One direction, no resistance, literally. They're going to be at a point of no resistance soon. When Once the train gets moving, it's almost damn near like hard unless you pull, pull like that lever, but it's still kind of like it has to take some time. to sort. This is how someone feels like I'm going to be full charge ahead. Like this is what I'm getting once I, because they're in an energy of tempers. Like they're trying to keep themselves tempered. It kind of triggers this person with how you make them feel. Again, this person is releasing the past. Scorpio energy heavy. The death card and the six of cups, both Scorpio energy. Um, it may be someone that's kind of from their past or people that was kind of jealous or that they know that they have to release. Um, and they've been kind of contemplating all of this. This person is holding on to you with the star card here because you've you've awakened a light within this person's energy. And I feel like this is why they they're now. It's almost like their soul is already devoted. Even if they're they they haven't fully like devoted themselves in a physical yet, their spirit, listen to me when I tell you, their spirit is already star card Aquarius energy. Cause they feel like you're the good. I'm hearing you're what is he? What did he? You're the good part of me or something like that. Like you're the you're the good in me. Someone may have had codependencies that they had to release, toxicities, attachments. Mm. Someone is very talented. This could be you, your person. Someone may be into like music. It says you're on the right track. Independent. So someone's going from this being dependent on someone or a certain connection from the past to being very independent. This could be you. Like maybe people from their past or past lovers were very dependent on this person. And then they meet you. And you're also someone who could take care of themselves like they can. You're very dependent. So then maybe they're like, how am I going to fit into your world when I'm used to being the one that people need? Like, and you're coming from this person, like, or you're in alignment with this person from a place of want, not need, and a place of alignment, not again, desperation or just low vibrational shit is what i'm getting you're very sovereign it's something about your energy is very royal too like you having it your way and this person is someone who i feel like their whole life they had it their way or like they used to kind of like get in the i heard like you get princess treatment they may get prince treatment or king treatment you get queen treatment like you're, you're both kind of on a certain caliber and um individuality you stand out this person stand out but especially like you stand out in this person's eyes with uniqueness and perfection i heard yeah you're very perfect in this person's eyes remember i said you're the right size like i just kept hearing it. i don't know if it's maybe it is body size like they feel like everything about you is perfect for them so i do feel like this person or you are mirroring this person's shadow back to them some form of fears traumas dark night of the soul or past pain with feminine literally and retreat so divine feminine you could be just maybe you pulled your energy back or you're in this energy of self-care rest and you're taking care of yourself you're loving yourself self-love honestly your masculine has been watching this and maybe it turns them on to just see you in a, your divine feminine energy maybe you're over there taking like spiritual baths you're just very spiritual witchy even i don't know <laughs> whatever you do like you just are very healing you're like an empath you're a healer um, this person loves that about you. They love your spirituality. It really turns them on. They love when you're in your feminine energy. They love how feminine you are. The womb space is being um mm, the womb space is being emphasized on this card. So it's something about your womb. Somebody may want to get you pregnant. The passion here. Receptivity. They have to learn how to be open and receptive to the love that you give them too with abundance. Because this could be someone who is only used to always pouring into others too. Or like again, maybe I just feel like the love that you give could scare someone a little bit. Or like it triggers their because that was too many cards. So it's gonna get a couple. We union and present. Stay in the present moment. Someone could have just constantly looking back to the past, maybe past people or past connections they were still kind of connected to. It's time to move into this present moment because this in the present is this divine love. It says oneness merging. Someone's merging into like this divine love, and I feel like this is happening damn near now or soon. Like this energy of oneness, and that's why it's the present is here. Cause it's damn like look masculine so we have the divine masculine out here and the divine feminine but it, it took the masculine longer to come around or something like that because he's always felt it look essence he's always felt your diamond essence this entire time you were the diamond in the rough you were the gem this i heard this entire time 
So this is what someone is realizing. Like maybe you have, I heard, but you are the gem that like, you know, when it's like a diamond, you have to break through that exterior to even see that it's a diamond. This person is that way too. So maybe they, you didn't know this about this person or maybe other people don't know this about this person, but they have, um, I heard they have a uniqueness. They have a rare energy to them. It says soul authenticity, it's authenticity, soul authenticity, signature vibration. You and this person have a very strong um, aura and uh, vibration, an uh, energy signature that cannot be replicated. And this is what made both of you a perfect alignment and match for each other. And both of y'all bloodlines too are approving of this connection. Look, receiving, you're going to be receiving love. I'm hearing fucking gifts. I'm hearing whatever it is that you could ever want from this person. And also it comes from the universe. Like you, both of y'all are like a gift to each other with choice. Someone may have a choice to make with passion, but only you can tell yourself what is for you. Only you knows what's best for you. So yeah, that's, that's significant for someone. You and this person, something about a ring could be significant or a diamond. Somebody want to get you a diamond necklace. I saw a necklace on that card, a ring. This is someone who's going to want to give to you like a future. Like they've been thinking about the future and planning shit. I feel like they're actually letting go of a past cycle with ego. Remember I said it was ego. So I'm, I was right. It was ego why they were possibly still holding on. Maybe they were holding on to a past person because they didn't want to like, oh, I, I'm not going to just let go of everything I work for. or been putting in energy or they were just used to something. They were comfortable with ego. Maybe it was just they were just still, I don't know. It's, it, I just feel like whatever this was, someone's growing out of this energy. It says insecurity, human conditioning. Like so, someone was conditioned to possibly be a certain way too, but that's not who they really are. Here, give a time with the past. Literally, that was someone. Someone's past is significant. They can have like a, a reputation or just a certain, certain thing that happened in their past. Like this person is learning to balance and release with expansion, pleasure, and truth. So they know the truth now and what it is that they really want. They know who and what brings them real pleasure and joy. Um, I feel like you're very beautiful to somebody. You're helping them to grow. This person enjoys you. They really do. Sensuality is something about their eyes. We're watching God when Janie met TK and everybody in the town was jealous like like out of everybody you can have like why y'all like it's just like everybody wanted her damn near the women was all looking at him too but with the queen of alice that's nine of pentacles so you are being very self-sufficient very independent you could have many people who look at you like you're the prize and you are with the six of wands you definitely be in the public eye or you get a lot of attention like you are celebrated or people just put you on a pedestal like many people with the six of wands like a lot of attention is on someone Twitchy, bitchy, mm. I think you are so much. I give you both a Jen, I give you both a box screen. Let me write to like Coraline. And you're gonna hear from someone. Choice and message. Like somebody has made their decision or choice. And at first, yeah, they could have been straddling the line. Let's keep Coraline. What's that song, Coraline? She's a avid. <laughs> oh my god. That's my baby. I, I don't know if I'm singing it right, but I think that's the lyrics when I'm hearing that song. Um, I think it's Coraline or something like that. Caroline or something. High Priestess of Spirit. Listen, if somebody's listening to their spirit now, somebody feels like you are like this High Priestess energy or like you are very, you are someone who is like worth listening to. Like you could have been praising someone's life to help them get them on the right path or they feel like this is someone who will respect like your words, your wisdom, your insight. Like let's say you had past lovers that you should like discredit what you say or they didn't really believe in like your gifts. No, this is someone who damn it, like they gifted themselves too. So they will understand a little bit about you or more than a little bit. That's what I'm hearing with oath. Like someone could be into like a brotherhood or something with oath card here. The warrior, literally. This is someone who I do feel like, yeah, at one, one point they may have struggled with temptation for lust. But now the biggest struggle, I feel like there is not, it's, it's something about how they feel for you. They could not want to, look, I was supposed to say they could not want to put all that shit on you at once. But they finna take a risk. Like somebody is like... I'm telling you, you're about to hear from this person with message here. So it's being very confirmed that mm, someone's really ready to communicate with you. Ooh, what is going on? That's too many. Something about you being very soft, very vulnerable, very open, or like I'm, maybe you're not hiding how you feel or you're just a divine feminine like you 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 can already you know how to conquer like your emotions you know how to you went through 
stages of how to heal and how to be open. After maybe teaching this person how to do this. They were in denial about this too, though, at one point. They were very in denial or they were denying themselves of what they wanted. But again, someone's listening to their spirit now. Or their spirit guys could be telling them like to reach out, to to give to you, to um to be true individuality because you are very you your own person and this again is what's going to help the both of y'all to see like this is my person because you've never met no one like the other person the both of y'all are feeling like i just get like a, a mutual like turn on energy like the both of y'all like oh like the way that you're so like you know who you are you stand in your power like you both and maybe y'all both not saying it or maybe it's, it's just energy here it's like it's mutual where's that card on You know, individuality. So you and this person both are like like a snowflake. No two snowflakes are the same. No two fingerprints are the same. It's all di you are very different. This is what you're helping someone to realize, and you are very like you turn someone the fuck on. So somebody could have had a choice between like a fire sign and an earth sign, or like you got you could be this fire, earth energy. Like maybe you just embody both. Like you're very grounded too, but you also look really good. You, you're about like your independence and your stability and your career. Like you're not afraid to work hard. But also, again, I do feel like maybe someone did have like a choice or you just, I feel like you embody both of these energies with the high priestess of earth and high priestess of fire. This is what turns someone on about you. And it also makes them very nervous because you do have a very powerful aura and energy to you. And you are someone's full on wish fulfillment that they... It's like the forbidden fruit, but it's not so much forbidden. They were just for they were forbidden themselves, like <laughs> with obedience here. Someone is wanting to come in towards you because I feel like they've been guided to with success. So someone is actually having to let go of another situation or part of themselves, but both of you may be having to transform inside and out. So this union may align and flow freely. But I see a conversation coming in or some form of like a union aligning that's going to be really successful. With love, like, yeah, you and this person are sharing a mutual love with wishing. And this is why with self-worth, like you and this person, like you are in your energy of self-worth. This person is too. They know their worth. This is someone who won't let people treat them any type of way or like they're not going to stay. I just feel like, or this is what they're learning. And I feel like here with the wishing card and love, like this is someone who's wished for someone like you and the growth, the growth here lets me know this is, could be about like a reconciliation or just two people coming together that are supposed to be in alignment. Um with confidence literally someone may have to like they could be like strengthening or working on their confidence one card talked about insecurities as well and i feel like this is what someone is going to be like learning in this connection with you like you're going to help someone to like be even become like more confident too that maybe i don't know if they something like broke someone's confidence or but uh It's a principle. Somebody could even be getting like a new job or again making you an offer, something tangible. Somebody wants to show you how serious they are about you. This could be like buying you a gift, making you an offer. It's something about something that may is gonna be clear, like you can maybe hold look sapphire. Someone may want to get you like a necklace. Uh, like somebody may like uh crystals and someone may like they watched you and they see that what you like and it's like, oh, I bought you a crystal necklace, or like it's something here. Um I do feel you have a very powerful spiritual insight as well, and so does this person. Gemini, Virgo energy out here. Very kind-hearted energy to you, too. It says develops over time. Somebody could have developed this love for you or this energy or this infatuation, this passion for you over time. Taurus, Pisces, Cancer energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy with the person of water. You could be dealing with a water sign. Someone, um, it's giving me like Queen of Cups energy too, though. Like, is someone, or does someone could be like leaving behind a water sign? You could be a water sign that's leaving someone behind, but I feel like something could have been a burden. Maybe someone was like an emotional burden on someone. Something was causing someone to kind of be like set back or they feel like delayed because of something could have been Aquarius. You could be an Aquarius. Um, someone's evaluating their options now or they, they've done this. And again, this is giving me the energy of this is what's going to be the outcome. Heart and home. Home is where the heart is. So if someone was uncertain at first, I feel like, yeah, this is someone who's now sure that you're going to bring fulfillment or they want to start this family with you. They feel like you belong in their life, um, some form of a legacy. And again, there was some form of resistance due to fears, 
Yes, this is so sources uh confirming that. So there was some form of like this person feeling like I'm a little scared to commit myself to you because you know what if I do and you're not what I think or like I don't know. It's just like they don't want to be bamboozled. Like you don't want to be bamboozled. They don't want to be their heart to be played with. They don't want to be heard or it's just giving like it's I understand the energy. What is this? So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna? I'm gonna pull some of these and then close out. 54, 44. This Julian is very protected. You know that. Oh, I'm not sure if I do. Oh, I did. I feel like I was. This is a very thorough reading. Somebody could be in like a music career. Somebody's like somebody could have sleep insomnia or paralysis because some something about someone's sleep, nightmares, insomnia, sleep paralysis. Somebody could be having like bad dreams. Music career, performer, singer, rapper, DJ, producer, you or your person. Or this could be what someone's going towards. This could be that energy of what someone's being told to like take action on. Expire tags or license. Um, so as past situation is expired is what I'm getting actually because of this because we got I can't save us my Atlantis we fall we built this town on shaky ground so something about uh, that song Atlantis by Seafred I think it's called no, but with expired tag license insurance somebody definitely may have expired expired tags or license or something like that could be significant but I'm also hearing like that's actually symbolic for like a past situation being expired that maybe you were holding on to but I, I just keep seeing like somebody trying to hold on to water it's just like it's you are like a water sign or we're dealing with one. We got modeling, fashion, casting, photography. So yeah, someone could be in like the music industry or like modeling. Or like maybe this is something that you're being pushed towards to start. It says, nobody knows me like you do. Nobody gonna love me quite like you. Twin, where have you been? Made for me by money long. Somebody feels like you were made for them. Twin, where have, this is how they feel when they like, twin, where have you been? When y'all both met, y'all damn near was looking at each other like, where you been all my life? I'm like, <laughs> ooh. I just got the like, weirdest in my hand i know things aren't clear between us but soon that will change clarity and answers are coming and i want to show you all fool i want to show you all take you just to compliment the deal type of vibe power couple so we got upgrade you by beyonce so someone wants to upgrade you like this is someone who could feel like they could maybe even put you in a different like i don't know position or <laughs> This, maybe this person got a lot of money or they sit in the power of authority, position of authority or power. But someone really wants to just show you all. This is someone who does want to like take care of you. They want to show you that like you are important to them. This is someone who they're not stingy. This is someone who will take care of. I heard they take care of their own. You're not meant to feud with them. You're meant to work together. So this is someone you're meant to like be with. I don't know if there was like an argument or some type of dispute, uh, uh, disagreement or uh, dispute. It says, would you hear me out if I explain my side of the story to you? So somebody definitely wants to explain something to you. <laughs> trying to seduce you. So somebody may have been trying to seduce you, but then they the ones that ended up being seduced. Like you were like, I don't know, you were just cool. Somebody could be used to people being so like head over heels or like just shaking in their knees for them. It says, it's really you on my mind, um, Chanel, Frank Ocean. I'm seeing a Chanel bag. Like somebody may want to get you some Chanel. Like somebody definitely could have been surprised that maybe you were able to resist their temptation. It says I'm in love with Mary Jane. Somebody definitely likes to like smoke. <laughs> Take me to paradise. Somebody's name could be Mary or Jane. It says you will survive and make it through this dark or rough time. Have faith. So somebody definitely could be going through like a hard time, but you're gonna survive this, sweetheart. You're gonna survive. I'm a survivor. What would you say? <laughs> We got scribbling your name in my notes or journal with hearts type of crush. So this is someone who got like a high school type of crush on you or middle school. Like they like, this is that type of crush where when you were younger, like you could, you were thinking about them all day in class, you'd be at work or like, you just thinking about them at home. It's just like very kind of like, it's giving like innocent, very innocent and very like, it's a mature love, but very innocent. It's going to be mature, but very like innocent type of love and 
that radiates between the two of you. It says, I have loved you in every lifetime, including this one. There's no exception. So, yeah, it says the karmic still won't stop bringing you up and mentioning you after all this time. It's giving miserable and bitter. I don't know if someone knows of you and this person or someone keeps speaking on your name or they didn't want this to happen. But this masculine or your person knows that this person is just jealous. They know that this person is bitter and they did not want to see them be with you or karmics don't want to see this happen. They don't care. They literally, at this point, they're fed up with anybody that's bringing you up or mentioning your name. They feel like bitches is haters, I'm hearing. They feel like somebody, if somebody was talking down on you, they could see that now this person is a hater. And this person, remember, it's something about them being very protective of you. I wouldn't be surprised if they check somebody ass or it's like they acting different towards somebody because it's like, you're my person and I know this. Like, what did you... Hmm. A lot of cards. Somebody may have got kicked out of like a will. It says, someone truly misjudged you. They're sorry now. Too intimidated to say anything to you right right now. Please be paid. What did I say? Somebody's a little, they're nervous. Like, this person knows you're that person. They, they, they've never felt this way, but they're intimidated. You says, um, you're gone and I got to stay high all the time to keep you out of my mind. Somebody smokes a lot. Somebody may be trying to, like, indulge. We saw that dependent card. Maybe somebody drinks or, like, smokes to get you off their mind or to, like, kind of feel like a void. We got doing sweetness spells to make you sweeter or nicer to them. Someone could like try to put you out your ass in like a sweetening jar or sweetness spell or to make you be kinder to them or make you feel how you once did about them. Especially if you kind of went cold on someone or you don't like someone no more. Like somebody could be trying to make you feel different or make you, I'm hearing like come back, come back or feel the way that you again once felt. I love your beautiful heavenly voice. Sing it out. Somebody definitely like you have a beautiful voice. I'm hearing sireny. Um, you could definitely be in the music industry. Um, baby, don't worry about a thing because every little thing is going to be all right. Bob Marley. I've seen that movie, I Am Legend. Mm -hmm. I don't want to argue or be into it. I just want to love you. This is someone who do not want to be at odds with you. They don't want to argue with you. It just, it makes them feel very uncomfortable when they do because you're, they don't want it. I heard I don't want no smoke. Like They don't want to be into it with you. They just want to love you. And honestly, that card said, y'all are not even supposed to be into it. You're supposed to co-create with this person. I heard coexist. Harm, it's supposed to be harmonious, not like chaotic. It's not supposed to be any type of like friction. Like, I mean, it's obviously this is your person. So there's going to be things that you have to work through together. It's not going to be easy. I ain't going to sugarcoat it to you guys, but it's like, you guys are supposed to be in the flow together. Not like stop and stagnant. Stop and stagnant. It's not supposed to be like that. It says finding my purpose, soul searching. So you or this person can still be like finding your purpose or soul searching, but someone realizes like, yeah, they don't want to be in school with you. They don't want to be at odds with you. They don't want to say, they don't want to have mean words said back and forth or any type of conflict or tension. Um, I should have listened to your wants and needs. Now I regret it. I don't know if someone didn't listen to what you wanted in the past. I feel like this was a, someone else that you're letting go of. Or maybe this person, like people who did not treat you both how you deserved. People who did not appreciate the both of you are now going to watch the both of you go towards your true divine counterpart. And it's damn near just going to be teaching everybody all around kind of some lessons. You and your person, what you were always deserving of. Your exes from the past karmic situations that, that maybe you were put in their lives to teach them true love. Or that maybe you were never asking for too much. Or sometimes you got to, I'm hearing you got to um really appreciate and love what you have while you got it. Because taking it for granted, like what God gives, he can also take away is what I'm hearing. When we have want to take you on endless dates and spoil you, baby. What did I say? We have walks by me every day. Her and love are the same. The woman that stole my heart and beauty is her name. Hoping I can make you mine for another man steals your heart. Beauty by Drew Hill. So you may even see this person maybe a lot. You could cross paths with this person in the store, at work. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I'm afraid if I open up and let you in, you'll see all my flaws and see something that you don't like that I try to hide. So maybe this person tries to hide certain things or patterns or behaviors from you because they feel like you wouldn't you wouldn't like them. But we have At Your Best You I Love by Aaliyah with I See You Beyond the Lies. This is my favorite movie. So someone, it's something about you not judging someone. Like that movie just is, this is confirmation. Like, or maybe the divine feminine, you could feel like if I let this person in, they're not going to be able to accept me for who I am or certain things that I hide or my flaws. Maybe this person will love you down. Like I'm feeling like this is someone who has the capacity to love because they they love themselves that fully or they're they're learning to. With harsh upbringing, um, childhood, still healing. You or this person could like have a harsh upbringing or childhood wounds. I mean, don't, don't we all? But I mean, not don't we all. It's not everybody does. I'm not going to put that energy out there. But 
we're all learning to still heal from like our past wounds. And this is someone who they're wanting to like take you out of that energy of maybe like survival mode or maybe past wounds. Or even if they were in that energy themselves, they just want to help you to like thrive, heal and be happy. They want to be your wish fulfillment. And um, this is someone who they are a little afraid of if they open up completely or this is you. Then maybe you will see something about them that you don't like. But since we have here at your best, you are love. I'm getting like even at your best and your worst with Aliyah energy. Um, She was a Capricorn. <laughs> But yeah, someone's gonna have to face their fears. This is what I'm getting. Um, what I see you because I'm getting like it's not just the superficial, it's giving that song. Um, it's the everything for me by Kalani because she was saying I could blame it on the physical, I could blame it on the superficial, but it, it ain't none of that. It's the everything for me. You're the perfect everything for this person because you're made for this person. It's almost feeling like you were made for them, so maybe their intrusive thoughts were holding them back. But I do feel like this is something that the both of you are being guided towards. Um, and just listen to your heart, listening to your hearts is definitely going to put you in alignment with who and what is for you. And then you won't have to question it. You'll know. Somebody may have like a speech or some shit that they got to give. Know, maybe this person's like coming towards you with like a speech. Oh, wow, sacrifice. Like somebody has to make a sacrifice for this to come in. The fertility. I'm seeing that a pregnancy could be significant or this is fertility with a new beginning, but that baby card did come out. It's cardinal energy, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn, Aries. Um, so somebody could definitely be having a like a child with this new person with honeymoon. Like you guys could be in the honeymoon stages. You and this person, you this looks like a what? Yeah, like an opening. Of, mm -hmm. So someone is definitely seeing you as someone like they want to be like intimate with, they want to be to give you pleasure. It's like a heads up that this is like coming your way. Mm -hmm. You were just going to know. So I'm definitely feeling like to be careful of any two-faced people right now that's trying. Like this could be who you're letting go. Look, two-faced and loves me not. Am I saying you're just going to know with love me not. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. If you were always in the energy of someone cared about you or if they were being shy, shy if they were being sneaky, if they were being two-faced, yes, they were. Like this is why Source was telling you to let go of a past situation because it kept you in an energy of imbalance. And I'm hearing the divine does not work through an energy of confusion. The divine sends what? clarity like I, I would not have you in a situation where you're constantly worrying if that's love because obviously i work through clarity not confusion the devil is the author of confusion is what i'm getting so if you were in a very toxic situation from the past where you were confused if someone loved you if someone cared if they were being two-faced that was your sign they weren't for you <laughs> with forgiveness someone may want your forgiveness with stillness i feel like you're in a very still energy you no longer may even be like i don't know if at one point you were going after something or someone but now you're just in a steel energy and you're celebrating yourself you're loving on yourself and it's just like drawing in um maybe someone who wants to like make amends with you yeah with balance you're in a balance because you reclaimed your power you reclaimed your energy you're no longer chasing anything outside of yourself or going towards anything outside of yourself you're letting it come to you is what i'm getting something about a miscarriage a loss of a child is significant I and mean, i was picking up on like that baby energy maybe a spirit baby is significant someone could have had like a miscarriage miscarriage or any way that you could like lose a child is what i'm hearing um, that's significant. Sunflowers are significant. Daisies. You spent a lot of time in like solitude, maybe after something that you experienced, like maybe with a child or loss of a child, maybe it's good because you had to like recover from that or like heal with source and she's pregnant on his card. So divine feminine, you're definitely going to be like healing. Um, and the, it's just that energy of fertility with bear fruit. Something is going to bear fruit for you. We honor your words. So it's going to be a divine masculine that maybe he makes you a promise or this is the divine honoring. Maybe the divine told you that you will have a child again. I'm here. You will have a child again. Like for you're going to have this child with this new person. And this is going to be very fruitful between the two of you guys. This is someone who will take care of their children. Like I'm, I, what did I cheaper by the dozen? Like that is my fucking movie. Like y'all are going to be renting out vacation houses together or just like, it's even if it's like y'all would be balling on the budget. It's just giving like y'all both would be so happy and loving in each other's energy because it's like we are enough, enough for each other with the silver lining here. You are each other's silver lining. Someone could have like neglect wounds from the past that are like significant. But yeah, source is guiding this connection together. Can I get one more? With orgasm here and alchemy. That sounds like a baby. <laughs> baby making process. I don't know. But like this could just be like somebody's manifesting with their orgasms or like maybe someone's helping you to reach this state of like an orgasm. Something about fingers. Somebody's really good with their fingers. <laughs> 
um, with the silver lining here is definitely giving me like a, something that's being like alchemized, like a, something is being restored in your life, blessings in disguise. And I feel like it's a connection that actually the divine has always had an alignment between the two of you. The both of y'all are going to be able to be so fluid, again, vulnerable, very free in expression with each other. Um, his tears running down his face. Maybe somebody felt like they couldn't cry in past relationships. They couldn't be themselves. They couldn't be really vulnerable, especially the divine masculine. But you are someone who divine feminine. You are very comfortable in your feminine and masculine energy. You understand that tears are healing. They're not weak. They don't make you weak. Or I don't know. Maybe someone felt like they couldn't express themselves to like people around them, parents, or like someone definitely could be like um, what's that called? Non-binary or something. Um, but yeah. That is the reading, you guys. I feel like you and this person are like kindred spirits. Um, you, you've known each other from past lives. And this is why you're going to be so familiar and like comfortable with one another as well. And I just feel like allow this to kind of unfold naturally. Something that's striking a chord like with, with, between the both of you and both of your hearts. And again, like this is a match. Both of you will feel a, a sense of peace, serenity, and just unconditional love and power is what I'm hearing. So that is the reading. And allow this to come in and sweep you off your feet. If you are ready, then they are ready. Okay. Like shit. Wait a minute. Should I use this other deck? I thought about it, so I might as well. I'm gonna use it, y'all. <laughs> Only because this is too much, this is too juicy of a reading to not. And then I thought about it for a reason. So I'm sorry. Not sorry. I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly source. Give me just the most powerful messages that are supposed to come out right now. What is in alignment with my lovers with these spiritual the spiritual union proposal? Maybe this is like an LGBTQ or same sex. It doesn't have to be, you could be straight. Um, but we're gonna see what's coming for these lovers. What's coming for this um union that you have ordained? What's coming for this union? What's coming for this love union? The wish. This is a wish come true. Maybe somebody used to blow like dandelions when they were little. Someone you wish for is coming into your life. You wish for this person before. I'm hearing either if you forgot you wish for this person or you didn't think you was going to get this person. Individuality. They came out three times. And the one deck, this deck, and the other deck. Like, so yeah, three different times. You are rare. You want someone. This is why they fail fast for you. I'm here. How long do it take you to fall for someone? Uh, about three minutes. Like, yeah, someone fell for you so quickly. They could be trying to hide away now. Maybe they pulled their energy back, but baby, I heard it's already done. Sealed. Sealed the deal. Um, you could have had lovers in the past who were very possessive over you and wanted to change you or wanted to hold you back and cage you because they were afraid of like you spreading your wings or you meeting someone else or, again, you thriving in your individuality. You and this person are going to have a great friendship, a great bond that's going to form and develop over time and like to romance. Um, but I feel like this person has fallen fast for you quickly. Like, remember, remember I said, the far not stars, it's like falling asleep and then all at once, like slowly and then all at once. I see that this person could be letting go of an ex or something pertaining to an ex. It's significant. We got the wedding. So you guys um, are going to be like marrying this person with destiny. Your name could be destiny. I do feel like it may be an ex that's like a little salty to see this happen. A destiny just came out again. So it's destiny. Somebody's ex may, name may be destiny. It says a reunion with your twin flame is on is a destiny event. I don't know. Maybe this is like an ex that you're destined to get back with or something. I don't. I feel like this is new energy because I know people hate to hear about the exes, but let's, I'm going to keep an open mind. Shit, what the fuck? But I do feel like there was an ex that maybe someone had to release uh, with sacrifice because I'm clarifying ex. Yep, dead ass. So, yeah. I don't want you to don't be in the comments like, hell no, I hate my ex. We get it. Oh, shit, believe me. The, with sacrifice, that's who is being sacrificed. Someone's ex. Maybe they were having a hard time. Maybe they always went back to an ex. Or, well, we got the right path. Someone's viewing you now as the right path. And now they can see that someone is like a karmic because they met you. And now they can compare like, damn, this actually was karmic. Damn, this actually was not good at all. Damn, this was actually, I'm here like... When you can actually see the difference between like maybe fake jewelry versus real jewelry. Like you can see like how the one jewelry, like it rushes your skin. It's not good over time. It wears down. Like somebody is realizing like the difference between you and someone else. And here we have this clock again, divine timing. That's why that clock keeps showing up with that rabbit too. Because something is happening in divine timing, settling. Someone is realizing too they were settling in their past connections. I'm telling you 100%. Now they're trusting in divine timing and they were filling a void. What did I tell you? voids and selling maybe they're on a rebound or they're just dealing with people who never made them happy but you do it for this person i'm feeling like you everything about you like they don't even feel like they have to go outside any if they were the type to kind of like struggle with maybe commitment it's you baby it's because they never met their person before like maybe they felt like trapped in past connections i didn't know this was on a card but we gotta celebrate you are someone who this person wants to celebrate with me now we have proposal again like someone definitely could want to propose to you again this could be same sex but it doesn't have to be this could be straight same sex but 
anything like that. But I feel like someone dreams of you a lot. You are, you are both each other's dream girl, dream guy. And again, this is someone who wants to... Okay, so you might be getting an apology from this person. I was kind of picking on that. Like Every now and again, I kind of was picking up on somebody kind of wanting to say sorry with twin flame energy. And you and this person are twins. Y'all match each other so much. That's that tweedle dee tweedle <laughs> Like, people may feel like y'all both play a lot or, like, y'all both... I'm hearing, like, that makes sense. When people see y'all together, too, like, maybe it's just, like, y'all sense of humor together or y'all personalities are kind of, like... Even the people at first are kind of like, uh, but then it's, like, the way they see how y'all are with each other is kind of... Look, imperfections. Like, y'all both balance each other out. And I heard flaws and all. You both love each other beyond, the, like, the superficial shit. And this is because this is your twin flame and you... I see you. I see your spirit. I see your soul. I see who you really are. I embrace you for all that you are. At your best and your worst, you are loved. And I feel like you're being guided towards them as they are being guided towards you. And there's so much passion and attraction, fire and desire between the two of you guys with passion and attraction. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. With sparks. So, yeah, sparks is flying. There's so much sexual chemistry, too, between the two of y'all is what I'm hearing. Charisma, like your person is very charismatic and you are, too. Like this is person that maybe they just like that kind of threw them off guard because, again, like, hey, I'm the one that's supposed to be like, shit, the one that got everybody out here like, this right here's a penny drop. Uh, yeah, with the dynamite here, you got somebody dino with my like passion, action, explosive, firecracker. Like somebody feel like you a little firecracker, like you kind of spicy. They like that though. <laughs> but I'm definitely getting that something is about to like happen out of nowhere. Like action unexpectedly. A breakup could be significant with chess. Like somebody's being strategic too with how they do this. You know. With the universe cards. So we got Pisces, Virgo, Leo, and Scorpio out here. Something is unending. This could be just a connection that's coming back in. Someone is no longer crying over spilled milk. They don't care about the past or a certain situation no more. Scorpio, Pisces energy. Something something that happened. They, they, they're they taking their power back or you're taking your power back. This could even have to do with the past. Um, an Aquarius could be significant. I see someone reclaiming their power and they're going to come in and declare. Like, I don't know how they feel or if they want to be in your life. We got Aries energy with the Eclipse, mutable sign energy out here. Someone's breaking free. I'm just getting like somebody's going to be trying something else out, trying something new. Someone was concealing how they felt or hiding this. This Eclipse energy could have been an Aries, double Eclipse. I mean, double Aries. Oh, so shit, double Eclipse. Maybe it was a double Eclipse or something that was significant. Yeah, two Eclipses here, I believe. Um, look, thunderstorms. So something about like a planetary like or, or a natural occurrence. Someone is like, there's a big energy shift happening here. It says triumph over evil, booming, opportunity to overcome, power, energy shift. So, yeah, it could be storming where you are. I just feel like after like an energy shift, this could be when someone realizes like how they feel. I just something about a child, though, I'm telling you. Either you're, you have a child, this person has a child, or you're meant to have a child with this person. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, energy. One more source. This one here is a... Uh -uh. check her flag someone definitely was almost like paralyzed with fear at one point but they view you as like a great catch do not think because this person is silent that they don't want you that they don't like you that they're not into you or because things were maybe moving and stopping like i just feel like it's like someone was almost afraid of having this um and again it's like there's going to be a feeling of relief once they really stop holding back out of pride or out of ego is they're going to see how good it can really get is what i'm hearing and again like i told you you are a mirror for this person someone's name could be dominic dennis you're going to hear from this person double cancer energy someone could be dealing with a cancer that's giving me like emotional overflow too like you're getting through to someone or like i'm hearing like something that they didn't want to feel is it's done it's like this person is it's they're already feeling it whatever was holding this person up whatever this fear was it's done somebody may have to get on a plane to come towards you this talks about long distance speed i see a long distance relationship here you and someone else maybe at a distance from each other or there's some type of travel or they have to overcome this energy of emotional distance with baggage somebody's packing i'm seeing someone literally may have to relocate or like maybe they want you to move in with them or they're getting on a plane somebody may want to take you on like a plane um but it's giving me emotional baggage to any unresolved issues they're letting that go so that they can have this union with you baby we got the fucking um, bicycle here, synchronization, alliance, unison, equality together. Y'all both are seeing each other as equals. Nobody is in the energy of a, I'm better than you, you better than me, harmony, two of a kind, two of a kind, not one. You both see each other as through the lens of like perfection and rarity. And I'm hearing like appreciation, partnership, collaboration. This is a partnership. Like we're partners. There's no person that in, in this alone is what I'm hearing. You will you won't, you will never feel alone when you're with this person or something like that. Maybe in past connections you felt alone or like the energy of like you're around people, but you still feel alone. Uh, it's a lot of healing that's going to come through this connection with the emerald. Healing, fertility, fertility, sexuality, soul restoration, strong relationship, mature love, heart chakra. So it's given with the emerald. Emerald City was on that Wizard of Oz deck too. So 
heavy Taurus energy. Like someone is going to see you as like a prize. Heavy Taurus energy. And this is the train energy. Like somebody may have to let go of a past energy or a past event or a past, just the past period for this to come in is to rectify or like to shift the energy. So that is the reading, you guys. I'm seeing a lot of sparks flying between you and someone else. Just trust what you feel. I don't feel like this is even a question. I feel like this is going to... I feel a very inevitable energy because now I'm seeing like the infinity symbol. I feel like this is something that's going to come in. Like usually I say like, oh, if this person doesn't get it together, you know, it's going to be another person. I don't know why I get like this is your person. Like this is someone who they're going to... They're coming in for you. So, um, yeah. With the sword and scale, you're going to hear from this person. There will be justice in the situation. You already know this. You're going to hear from this person. Maybe you do something where you have to speak, communicate with the mother load. And it's a hell of a lot of abundance that comes through this connection with its time. You don't want to be late for a very important date with cake. Someone may even be getting married with yes here. You may marry someone. Sagittarius Virgo Aries energy. I'm hearing like I do. I literally heard I do. Something about harmonization, synergy. That's sharing two types, like bringing two energies together. Or like it's just giving like you and this person are supposed to co-create Taurus energy. Team, collaboration, organization, perform, lead. This person is a leader, you're a leader. Aries energy, heavy Aries. So somebody definitely could be like an Aries and you know what Aries be. So somebody could have a very strong persona or energy or personality and so do you. But y'all are both going to be building like inventor. Like y'all both have like a very rare energy. And this is why the divine is putting, I'm hearing my children together. Somebody's dealing with like a Capricorn because we got um person of earth and then we have the balloons and this is Capricorn energy, Leo energy here. So you could be dealing with a, Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, or Capricorn with high vibes. Something that's going to be lifting your like vibration. Something that's going to be like, like you're going to feel elevated. Hearing that song, I'm to be elevated. Thank me that I made it. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting like a Janae Aiko and Big Sean. And, I don't know. He finally like, I, he put her through so much shit. I don't know. Maybe this is like a twin flame. Like they said twin flame connection too. So uh, especially if you are like an earth sign or maybe a water sign. Um, someone's seeing something from a higher perspective. You could be just focused on your goals right now. You got somebody just wanting to put their best foot forward. Something about letting something go and a lot of success and relief. Like once you hear from someone or once you see this come in or like I feel like a lot of pressure is going to be taken off of you or it's going to feel like your mood, your energy, just your vibration is all being elevated. Your life, I heard everything is going up. When you when this happens, everything is going up. Like, share and subscribe, you guys. That is the reading. I really had a lot of fun doing this reading. I felt like this was a great reading, really. So, if this resonated with you, like, share and subscribe until next time.